Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2008 Phoenix Cruiser 2400 with 32,434 miles. Alrighty folks, here we are inside of this 2008 Phoenix Cruiser 2400. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated dealership. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We will go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have. So we got a mix of carpet and hard surface flooring in this unit. Got about 76 and a half inches of headroom in the main part of the coach. About 73 inches here at the air conditioner. The air conditioner runs off of AC power. It's controlled via the thermostat over here. This also controls the propane furnace. Got speakers throughout the coach. These play whatever the driver and passenger are listening to up front. We've also got a tuner here, so you can play music through there. This will play your DVD sound. If you're listening to, or if you're just watching the TV, the sound is gonna come directly from the TV itself. Got your DVD player here on the right. Got your remotes up top. Got a TV crank on the ceiling. You do not wanna drive around with that TV antenna up. Got a window of the screen portion on the right side. Got the day night shades. Got seats here that swivel, go back and forth. I'll drop some pictures here in a little while when I show you the bed so you can see the different variations of this table. So there's a table in here as well. It comes up and out to create a dinette area. We've got a belt here. We've got two belts on the couch and two belts up front. So a total of five belts in this unit. some wear on the table area here got AC power on the wall got a screen window on the left side here at the same day night shades get your manuals in there this is a power sofa so this is going to come all the way out here to create a bed. we got our slide out here. So this whole section of the coach slides out. This is a control for the power bed. So you can push this button to run the bed up or down. Got our control for the slide out. And we've got our start stop switch for the Onan generator. This has 98 hours. This is a fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan techs. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop some pictures now of what this sofa looks like out, get you some measurements and also show you this dinette area. The bed measures approximately 60 inches wide, north, south, or front to back in the coach, and 72 and a half inches long, east, west, or side to side in the coach. The couch measures approximately 20 and a half inches wide and 60 inches long when folded up. The chairs swivel and move forward and backward to get the right position for you. There are some scuff marks on the end of the table. Moving now towards the center of the coach. Got a storage cabinet here with some homemade drawers. Got some blemishes on the veneer. Got some furnace ducts down below. We've got a two-way Norcold fridge freezer. Got the nice pretty wood front on this. This is a two-way, I mean this runs on AC power. So your shore power plug-in or your generator or propane gas.
Got a nice big closet here to hang your goodies. Got an RV cover in the box there. Got an inverter down here so we control that. That takes your DC coach battery power and inverts it to AC. So you can use things like your plug-in, perhaps watch your TV. Got your fuse panel here. This has your AC breakers and your DC fuses. Got a service access here. So we got our bathroom in here on the right. Check that out momentarily. We're gonna go into the kitchen first. Got a fantastic fan overhead. You can use this like an exhaust fan while you're cooking. You can also use this like an attic fan at night. If you open up the windows, it'll bring the cool outside air in. This runs on DC, so your coach battery. Got a convection microwave oven. Runs on AC power. Got a light. Got your hood light and fan. Got our levels test here for our holding tanks, our propane tank, and our coach battery. The levels for the holding tanks are, are notoriously finicky, so do not always trust those. Got our water pump on off that turns on and off the water pump to pump the water out of the onboard fresh water tank. Our hood light and fan. Got nice Corian countertops. Single basin sink. Got a two burner propane cooktop. The slot behind these covers here is to put those covers while you're cooking. Got a counter flip out here. Got our coach battery disconnect down here that disconnects the coach batteries to prevent parasitic draw. That also disconnects the charging systems to the coach batteries, which are the shore power plug-in, the alternator while you drive, or the generator. Got AC power there. Got our fresh water tank. Nice, easily accessible entryway. Got our fire extinguisher. We've got a screen door you can pull across here. Got our awning crank and our awning center rafter. Got a shade here on the window. We've got our porch light switch and our step control. Got a paper towel holder here. We've got a shade here on this window, it does not open. We've got start stop for the water heater. This ignites itself. You can use this on electricity or on propane. So we've got a nice big mirror here on the door to go into the bathroom. Got another exhaust fan overhead. So easy access to the stool here. A Little bit of a step up and into the tub shower. Extra headroom overhead. Got a window with a screen here. Got a shade for privacy. Got a little medicine cabinet. Got a tank heater switch here. Got a mirrored backsplash. Got our sink there. AC power. And we've also got storage down here beneath the toilet. That's your water pump there. Here we are standing in the rear of the coach. I accidentally drank some holy water with my laxative. I'm about to start a religious movement. Got a few marks on the edge of the cabinet here. Some little spots here. Could sit a few things. A 28 inch TV storage up here got some marring on the veneer got lots of plug-ins it's kind of where your command center for your TV is gonna be so all in all we got a nice Phoenix cruiser here this one's gone through our full inspection process got a few cosmetic blemishes inside and some on the outside you'll see here on the outside portion of the tour Nothing that affects the usability or the fun you can have in this RV. This thing's gone through our full inspection process. We're going to go through a full demo with you at the time of sale. I'm going to call this one an 8 to an 8.5. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and call it an eight. You could call it an eight and a half, depending on how you want to fault it or how many points you want to dock for the cosmetic blemishes. But again, those are just things that you see, not things that affect what you can do with this RV. So check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we got power windows, power locks, power heated mirrors, tilt cruise, CD player. Got nice clean upholstery. No signs of smoking. Got a little bit of wear on the driver's seat. It's kind of hard to see because of the lighting. That'd be from where the driver gets in and out of the coach. The little ashtray appears unused. There's no cigarette lighter in here. So it's tough to say for sure. I'm gonna call this a non-smoker. Got a little glove box down here. Also got a privacy curtain. You can pull all the way across the front here for privacy. And we've got our monitor for a backup camera. Here we are with the slide out in. Got AC power over here, and we got a little poke on the trim piece there. Alrighty, folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2008 Phoenix Cruiser 2400. This RV measures 24 feet bumper to bumper with a 12 and a half foot manual awning. The tires have 35, 21 date codes. This Phoenix Cruiser is built on a Ford E450 chassis with a 6.8 liter V10 engine with 32,434 miles. Got two coach batteries down here. Got storage space. Got some age on the stripes. Got the back of the refrigerator, your furnace. We've got two 110 outlets so you can plug things in beneath the awning. Got dual rear wheels. Got a power step that comes in and out with the door. Back of the water heater. Out of the back, we've got a ladder for rooftop access. We've got a backup camera, we've got a tow package. We've got a full size spare. Got a little boo boo up there. Coming around now to the driver's side. We've got power gates on this one, so you'll open and close the gates there. Got flushes for the, the black and gray tank. This has a sewer flush right there. We've got a macerator pump on this, so everything's gonna pump out of this tube. You turn the macerator pump on and off there. That's the macerator pump right there. Got outside showers, nice for kids, pets, going to the beach, going four-wheeling, keep the mess out of the camper. Got a drain for the onboard fresh water tank. Got a fill for the onboard fresh water tank. Got your city water connection, your fuel tank that runs the engine and the generator. Generator stops running around a quarter tank, so you cannot strand yourself. Got our shore power in, got a uh, TV cable in, got telephone in. Nice big storage space here. We've got our propane tank, gauge for that, on off valve, that's where that's filled. Got our Onan generator here. This is a fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan techs. Got the exhaust for that. Got about a five and a half foot slide here. You can see some of the same edging along the stripes. And a little thing that must have been daubed there. We've got an awning slide topper here. This is not an awning you're gonna sit beneath, but this slide's gonna come out and this little awning topper is going to help keep branches and debris, leaves, things from getting inside of there and compromising the slide seal. So all in all, a nice Phoenix Cruiser here. This one is ready to hit the highway.